Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background, feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm reviewing the Polestar 2. I'll be covering the most important features and the latest one motor model to see whether it'll crush the competition or not. Oh and one more thing before I start, interesting fact about me. I've learned to drive in an electric car, cause it has jewel control. Okay, now back to the video. Volvo's Polestar 2 is an all-electric five-door liftback built under the Polestar sub-brand. Geely's current facility in Luqiao, China, commenced production in March 2020 and already manufactures the Geely Zingrai Preface, Volvo XC40, Link & Co 01, and Link & Co 05 all of which use the same CMA platform. The Polestar 2 is many things in 2022, including a hatchback with sedan proportions and crossover ride height, but above all, it's an electric car. Fans of Volvo's performance division will recognize the Polestar label, but it now denotes pure electric and plug-in hybrid cars, with the Polestar 1 coupe falling into the latter category. Although the 2's strange form isn't very attractive, its hatchback shape and reduced price make it more practical and accessible. Naturally, the inside is luxuriously decorated and equipped with a user-friendly entertainment system. One of two electric motors are offered in the 2022 Polestar 2. The automobile with a single motor is front-wheel drive and has a 265-mile estimated driving range. The dual motor has a shorter range but all-wheel drive and much greater power for faster acceleration make up for it. The sedan was presented as a direct competitor for the Tesla Model 3. Design and Engineering Little sister of the Polestar 1, a plug-in hybrid sedan, the Polestar 2 is a five-door sedan with a receding roof line. Based on the evolving CMA or compact modular architecture platform developed by the Volvo Group, it is considered the brand's first mass market electric car. Bold but not overbearing, it's futuristic without being ostentatious. The Polestar 2 has been developed from the ground up for pure, progressive performance. The facade has a calm, controlled design that is discreetly but proudly distinctive from the frameless mirrors to the avant-garde lighting. A fresh twist on minimalism car design in the form of a clean-cut fastback, the Polestar 2 mixes well-chosen color schemes with clean architectural lines that are complemented by fine worksmanship, engineered to light up the room. The EV's external lights have a detailed yet basic design that improves visibility standard on the Polestar's 2 and 19-inch 5-double spoke black diamond-cut alloy wheels with 245 and 45 R19 tires. When you customize your car, you may choose complete winter wheels and bigger diamond cut 20-inch wheels as options. The optional performance pack also includes forged alloy 20-inch wheels. The wheelbase is 107.7 inches, the length is 181.3 inches, and the width is 73.2 inches with the mirrors folded. Interior The inside of the two is basic yet elegant, combining wood, cloth, and plastic. Clean lines, a sparse color palette, and minimum switch gear gives it a contemporary appearance. The 2 inherits a few design elements from its Volvo siblings, such as the steering wheel buttons and the knurled start knob, but the overall look is less cluttered. Polestar wraps the inside in eco-friendly vegan cloth to match the electric drivetrain, although you can get leather if you really want it. The power-operated liftgate opens to reveal a cargo compartment with a capacity of 14 cubic feet. Do you require any other information? In the front, there is another cubic foot of storage. The Volvo Group's technology spearhead, the Polestar 2, is the first car in the world to feature a 100% Google Media device called Android Automotive. A 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a prominently situated iPad-like portrait-oriented touchscreen greet the driver on the inside. The latter, which measures 11.2 inches and runs Google's Android Automotive OS infotainment system, is in charge of the majority of operations. It's not dissimilar to other current user interfaces. Consider a box divided into four squares, each dedicated to a distinct type of program, such as navigation, phone, or music. Polestar thinks that by grouping comparable programs in a single quadrant of the screen, users would have an easier time locating what they need, reducing distractions, but the best part is that it integrates Google Maps into the navigation system and delivers helpful EV-specific information to the driver, such as the location of nearby charging stations and how long you'll have to wait once you arrive. Other noteworthy features include two USB ports in the front and two at the back, satellite radio as standard, and Harman Kardon audio. 
Thanks to NFC technology, the Polestar 2 also offers a keyless start system. It's the user's mobile phone which, if compatible, unlocks the car. Performance The 167 KW single motor is positioned on the front axle. Unlike the dual motor, all-wheel drive models of the Polestar 2. The launch edition has an electric motor on each axle, resulting in the total system output of 300 kW and 487 pound-feet of torque. The result is a lightning-fast hatchback that accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and from 50 to 70 in 2.2 ticks. The performance option adds 20-inch wheels and summer tires, firmer suspension components with adjustable awling dampers and enhanced Brembo front brakes. The two 0.90G of cornering grip and 157 foot stopping distance from 70 miles per hour are due to this combination. Polestar also has three levels of regenerative braking, the most powerful of which may bring the car to a complete stop without you having to touch the brakes. While the aforementioned package appeals to enthusiasts, I believe the two will ride better on the stock suspension. Its driving range should also be improved by the specified all-season tires. The Pole 2 has a slew of driver assistance and safety features that should give you extra peace of mind. The following are important safety features. Pedestrian recognition and standard autonomous emergency braking. Adaptive cruise control is a standard feature. Blind spot monitoring is a common practice. Battery life. The 2 is built on the same compact modular architecture or CMA as a Volvo XC40 crossover. I'll bet the electrified version of the platform has a 78.0 kWh lithium-ion battery pack beneath the floor. Polestar says that this technology would recharge a dead battery to 80% in 40 minutes using the electrical system, which permits fast charging up to 150 kilowatts. The single motor variant has a range of 265 miles, while the dual motor model has a range of 249 miles on a single charge. For home charging and accelerated stations, it has 11 kW AC charger on board. It then takes 8 to 15 hours to fully charge the vehicle. Price and model range Polestar is introducing a new front drive configuration for 2022, as well as lowering the pricing across the board. The new single motor front drive variant has a range of 265 miles and costs $47,200, while the dual motor model has a range of 233 to 249 miles and costs $51,200. Individual choices are also available, as well as the opportunity to select certain packages rather than having them all bundled together. Those who choose for the Loaded Plus option will have access to a slew of luxury features as well as a newly installed mechanical heat pump, which Polestar claims may increase the hatch's projected range by up to 10%. Polestar has slashed the price of the two by anywhere from $14,000 to $15,000 depending on the model. The dual motor version gets the best deal, and despite its shorter range, you might prefer its more powerful power plant. When you choose the two with two motors, you may add the optional performance package, which we recommend. It comes with forged 20-inch wheels and high-performance tires as well as improved brakes and adjustable dampers. The only catch is that they must be adjusted manually. Polestar's electrical car comes in three engine configurations, including two front-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Standard range. Considered the entry-level variation, it combines a 165 kW engine with a 64 kWh battery, allowing up to 273 miles of range. Long-range single motor. Also in single traction, this version has a 170 kW unit that combines with a 78 kWh battery offering up to 335 miles of range. Long-range dual motor. With all-wheel drive, this sporty version combines 300 kW and 600 Nm of torque. It is associated with a 78 kWh battery offering nearly 310 miles of range. Less efficient with 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. It's more efficient with a range exceeding 310 miles. Polestar's limited warranty is in line with industry standards and is comparable to Tesla's. In addition, the firm offers competitive coverage for the electrical components of the two. Polestar, unlike its parent company Volvo, does not provide the same 3-year complementary maintenance package. It offers a 4-year or 50,000-mile limited warranty is included. A warranty on electrical components is for 8 years or 100,000 miles. There is no free plan maintenance. To sum it all up, the 2022 Polestar 2 single motor is a good option if you find the Spartan Model 3 a little crass in terms of its touchy-feely components or just wish to stand apart from the Tesla gang. This wraps up my review of the Polestar 2. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out to the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.